morning mr b here my people how are you doing welcome to shades clarity channel what do you think of my new intro good maybe no get rid of it leave some uh some comments in the uh the section down below okay what i want to talk about today is kindling what is kindling in uh alcohol abuse and uh use of benzodiazepines. Well, kindling is really nothing more than uh, a sensitivity uh, that your uh, neurotransmitters uh, get from usually, if we're talking alcohol, we'll, we'll just use alcohol. Uh, I mean, it can happen with alcohol, benzodiazepines, or barbiturates, but uh, for, for argument's sake, let's use alcohol. It's for the person that is every time they go through a withdrawal, a binge and a withdrawal, a binge and a withdrawal. It causes a hypersensitivity to, uh, to affect uh, your uh, GABA system, your uh, GABA aminobutyric acid, uh, your inhibitory um, neurotransmitter. And then it ignites things like uh, cortisol, uh, glutamate, uh, norepinephrine, your excitatory um, neurotransmitters when you have a, uh, I spoke about that, you know, in the withdrawal uh, video, you have a down regulation of GABA because your body just stops producing it, um, feels like it doesn't have to, and then you have an up regulation or a, a, a flood of these of things like glutamate, you know, and that's where you get your uncomfortable uh, your symptoms from withdrawal. Now, kindling, uh, a good example of that is a, I had a friend, uh, I, I have a kindled uh, a neurotransmitter system. Um, they say 3% of people that undergo kindling uh, from their withdrawals can have psychotic episodes, of which I've had two episodes of alcoholic hallucinosis where I was sort of out of my mind. Um, it was bad. I mean, I knew where I was, and I was, I was orientated to a certain degree, but it was just, it was just awful. But a friend of mine, he had drank vodka for years, and his his uh, marriage was on the rocks. Uh, he had run into some problems. He was he was not at his job. He he was a supervisor, so he could just take off and go do whatever he wanted to do. So he would drink. So he drank vodka, and he kept um, a pretty much a a certain blood alcohol level you know a constant level he wasn't he wasn't starting and stopping starting and stopping and starting and stopping i said i i, I asked him i said hey because he was one of my uh, first sponsors when i uh, first started in with aa he said um i asked him i said well god you're drinking a fifth of vodka a day it was like he would mix it with orange juice i think he was making screwdrivers and he said no, I didn't have any withdrawal, nothing. Maybe a little bit of sleeplessness, a little bit of insomnia, but nothing. No. And I was like, really? And that's when I became sort of interested in why this person didn't uh, suffer such... And, and, and the thing with kindling is it can even... If you binge and, and withdrawn so many times, it, it, it lowers the amount of alcohol needed to cause uh, a withdrawal syndrome. So I had a doctor told me there was one patient that was kindled so bad, his neurotransmitters, that it'd only take about a 12 pack, drinking maybe two 12 packs over two days t to cause him to have very severe uh, withdrawal symptoms. And you've heard uh, you know, it never gets better. It, it only gets worse. And every time you quit, um, the symptoms are worse or the withdrawal is worse. That's the kindling process. And it really is, is it's, I mean, it just it really messes up your, your whole, your whole homeostasis and everything within, within your, your mind. So, I mean, if you're going to, I'm not, Again, I'm not a uh, licensed professional. I'm not a physician. Uh, please, if you're deciding to quit alcohol, you want to quit, don't quit cold turkey. Especially repeated cold turkey withdrawals will get worse because of the kindling if they're 
medicated withdrawals. Uh, they use, you know, some kind of uh, benzodiazepine. <laughs> Ironically, they use benzodiazepines to because it's cross tolerant with alcohol to to bring people off of alcohol. Please uh, contact your healthcare provider and tell them that you want uh, to stop. Or if you're taking benzodiazepines, uh, try to come up with a taper plan because you don't want to stop those uh, cold turkey either because just like they affect the same uh, pretty much the same receptor just uh, the GABA complex but just a different site you have your alcohol you have your benzodiazepine and you have your barbiturate site on the uh, the uh, GABA chloride channel so with benzodiazepines you also uh, every time you take one you are subjecting yourself to uh, usage and withdrawal as the effect wears off you're, you're in effect withdrawing it's like every time you become intoxicated you're going to withdraw so the binge stop you know the, the binge pattern is is the most destructive as far as uh, the kindling process goes and why kindling why do they name it that well it's kind of like using pine straw uh to 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 light a, a huge fire like a bonfire um it it kindles uh or or predisposes your neurotransmitters to um to causing you know worsening symptoms every time you withdraw so that will explain like why oh last time I didn't have any kind of problem coming off of uh, cold turkey drinking this time it was terrible I was vomiting I was I couldn't sleep and then you know, maybe the next time they have a seizure because kindling lowers your seizure threshold but I just thought I would talk about that uh, if anybody had never heard about it um, I've had to explain it to medical practitioners they had never heard of it um, some have if, if they've read the medical literature but a lot of them are unfamiliar with it they just know that the symptoms every time you quit it seems that it's that much harder to quit because uh, it does affect your prefrontal cortex and your amygdala um, those two areas of your brain but as as always good talking to you Stay tuned, and I'll see you later.